Hello guys! Today I'm gonna show you how to make espresso with Puddles Pity Party Blend from Bettdorf and Bronson. So what you need, you need is a, um, a mocha pot. This is actually an Italian Bialetti mocha pot. So it's a little strong, it'll, it brews a little stronger than a, the traditional mocha pot. So you're gonna use that. And I'll show you actually, if, if you guys don't know how to use one, I'll show you. Um, okay, so you unscrew it. And right here, it has a chamber for where you put the water. You wanna fill the water just about to under there. So I usually like to start with hot water. That way it kind of speed up, speed up the process just a little more. So the water is just below, it's just weird how it shows, but it's like right below that little gap, the little valve. You don't have to do anything to the valve unless I guess you're having an issue. I've never used the valve. I just keep it like it is. All right. And what you want to do is take your coffee beans. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Hello. Yeah. Okay, you want to put it on a very fine setting. Okay, it's on fine. Pull your puppy pins in there. And the puppy pins go in here when they're all ground. Filled up more. And you, and you want to push down just slightly. It's not like a like a tamp. You're not really tamping like you would do in a professional. Espresso maker in the coffee shops. I got left left over from my puddles pretty party espresso. Okay, so yeah, I just stuck it in there. Then you just take this guy and screw him. Not like screw him, but you're just screwing the top on. <laughs> you probably know what I mean. I hope. I gotta make sure it's tight because sometimes I don't get on there tight enough. Okay, set the little muck pot on the stove. Make sure it's turned up to high. And it 
Okay, can you guys see that? It's brewing. It's coming out from that little guy over there. So we just put that back down there. We want to get a nice rolling boil. We want it to do that. Part where it gets it as strong as the more you let it go, the more stronger the coffee is going to be. So, this is a big cup, so I'm going to let it roll, have a nice roll for a while. I don't even know if that's the term roll, <laughs> that's what I just call it. I got my little coffee pots going here, pretty little things. Okay. It's been going good, so you want to turn it off, and we'll put it back there. You want to wait for the steam to rise, to go down. Yeah, you want all that, because it's still boiling, even though it's off the heat. But you want to wait for it to go down. So it's almost down. You just don't want it. Okay, so that should be good enough. So we will go over to our little set over here. I have my cute little espresso. These are actually Italian, those are Italian espresso um, cups over here. So yeah, one for my father. I always make this cool. I'm warm. Ah, see, I'm not standing. I Sitting too far away. <laughs> and one for me. Okay, two, two, two. And I'll put that back there. And give him a little stir. Mm -hmm. This little stir. I'm going to give this to my father. Stir up mine. Mine's the one that's all messy. Alright, I'm going to try my little espresso. Maybe the puddle's going to put it in. Alright, let's get the dinner. Excellent blend. That's an excellent blend to use. I could tell. It makes a wonderful espresso. Mmm. Mm, you can kind of taste that kind of fruit notes coming up. It's really good. I like it. Mmm. You guys have a good day.